that's what I do. Right. Ruin everything. That's what I do best. All right, cool. I haven't noticed that. All right. Um, okay, so uh, welcome back, everyone. Good to see everyone. Uh, yeah, it's good to see all your smiling faces. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys have had a good week. Who played games in the past week? <laughs> all right, that's 100%. So well done, guys. Give yourselves a hand. How many people reviewed those games? I looked over them. We're, mm, yeah. Par partial, partial, <laughs> partial. All right, all right, all right. Well, it's not 100, percent but we're getting there. All right. Anyway, um, today's class is going to be actually kind of on things, namely the idea of like shape efficiency and why good shape is good shape and how to use your stones to the utmost. So this is the first first position we're going to look at. It's called black to play. It kind of has everything we're going to talk about. We're going to talk first about efficiency, then about forcing moves and what that tells us about moves that deny forcing moves, and then we're gonna put it all together and answer a question about how to develop from a pretty common Joseki. Okay? Okay. Okay. And if, does anyone have problems from questions about the homework that I gave back? I no. A chance to look over them, yeah. Excellent. All right, that's what I like to see. Everybody understood everything. If I give you those problems again, you'll all get them 100%, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Okay, so black to play. What are we doing here? We are dealing with this situation, right? We can tell we're going to deal with this situation because it looks a lot hotter than anything else on the board. Um, so what do we do? What do we not do? What we, well, we don't do. <laughs> but the question is how do we use, the, use this efficiently? And what's the best way to do it? If we just do this, for instance, we now have this cutting point, and it's going to be hard to attack the stone really effectively, so we meant to do something like this, right? And this guy is still going to be able to jump away, so we're not really happy with this. So give me an alternative. Somebody give me an alternative. What do we do? Tiger's mouth on the star point? Tiger's mouth on the star point! It's a good thought, but also not super right, because after this, the door is open underneath, oh, right? So but you can just right. push. What was that? But you can just push. Yeah. Push, push what? Uh, Q? No, it's still the tiger's mouth. Instead of the tiger's mouth, you do this. Yes. That's, that's, that's a neat idea as well. Why well, it's still going to answer here. Yeah, that one. And now you still have kind of a shape thing that's here, right? Same. You want to stretch this out a little bit. Any, so more ideas? More ideas? Make the sacrifice bigger. Make the sacrifice bigger. That's usually a good idea. In this case, though, the sacrifice just grows without bound. <laughs> <laughs> if you're making the sacrifice bigger, you want there to be a firm upper limit on what you're willing to do there. But this is the right sequence to look at. You want to see where this goes. Yes. And the idea is we uh, are just going to stretch this out just a little bit farther. Okay? Now white will do this, exchange here, and then white will have to come back and do this. And then you can do this. Right. Would white really cut and waste the Aji in that position? It's not wasting the Aji, it's creating the Aji. Okay. Because if white just turns and you do this, now maybe you don't care about that later. Right? Maybe white will just turn. I don't know. Right. Maybe you do this instead. Good question. Good question. I would probably just do this because well, the stone is less important. If white just turned, you wouldn't have that extra white stone there, right? That's correct. If I just turns that stone, isn't there now? That's right. Excuse me. So now, if you come through here, I mean, I could still block. It's basically the same thing. That's a good question. I think White would probably want to do this immediately because it's the way that you're sure you're going to get that answer. Right? That makes sense. Maybe now, maybe it changes how you answer things out here. Does the exchange of the second line of stone make sense? When the exchange of this for this? No, no, no. The exchange for the top stone. The which? For the one that white is already. This one? Yes. So instead of that tiger's mouth just connecting. This? Yes. Yes. Probably. I would think so because the end game here is, is very big. Gotcha. Right? Okay, so this is the first kind of idea, right? So we want to talk about like what's the most efficient thing, and this sort of encapsulates a lot of what we're going to talk about. This is the first position. Questions? Get them all, get them all there? Yes, question. Maybe that guy. Yeah. Initial position. Initial position. There's more. No. 
black stones and white stones on the block? Oh yeah, that's because this position would take way too long to set up. Okay. So Everyone? It's it is incomplete. Okay. And I'm glad you were counting. Because if you didn't, someone on the internet was gonna, so it's a good thing. Alright. Take that, internet. That's right. Watching it in their pajamas and we're all out here in the cold. These guys. Alright, let's see. So this is gonna take a while to set up, so we'll come. So talk amongst yourselves, exactly. Now's the time to go get some tea. What was that? The difference between the black and white stones. Yeah, I think it's gay because it has white stones. Oh, because otherwise black stones. Hey, cool, check this out. Yeah, we're on the table. There was still some more last night. Alright, folks. I'm going to have to set up a Joseki down here. So why don't you help me with this Joseki because it applies with what we just learned. Old Joseki. Old Joseki. That's right. So, after this, what happens? It's pretty much a one-way street. You have to cut. Have to cut. Then? Here. Yep. Then? And now? Oh. Looks similar. The stone? What was that? The Suke the stone with the Nogi? I don't speak Japanese. Oh, don't <laughs> the Sorry. Make a touching move. Hit, hit, the bump the stone. Yeah. Bump. Yeah. 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 Yes, because this is that idea of like getting that to the max. Point. The one you were looking for, right? Right. 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 And then you can hook up. Yeah, this I get one. That I know. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm trying to apply it. Right. And uh, oh, I haven't set up this side. That's why it looks funny. All right. So here we are. So. Uh, White is approached, black kicks, and now black wants to have it both ways and does this. Raise your hand if you've seen somebody do this in a game, because I know all of you have, because people all start with this tanuki, and white's like, oh man, he tanuki, normally the just second move is over here. So, white needs to do something. Starts here, right? Sound good so far? So. Black is going to hum in. This extension happens. Where does black play now? Alright, maybe the question isn't where does black play now? The question should be where does white play now? <laughs> because black has kind of made the mistake, so let's not worry about what black does. Let's worry about what white does. What does white do? Uh, a large What? What? No, what? I'm thinking it's slightly. What was the theme of the class? Man, I just told you. You're killing me. Can you <laughs> What was the theme of the class? Shade. Shade. And? Yeah, and? Using, for, using, yeah, using? Um, using your stones completely. Alright, so what do we do? Right. And processing the information so that you can remember it later. Proce yes, remembering what I tell you so I can quiz you on it. Five minutes. Now. That's right. So what does white do? Do you know what white does here? Catching you up. Catching up. Catch everybody up. White approaches. Black kicks. White extends. Black, instead of doing what he should do over here, is all insecure and wants to do this instead. Which is okay. It's cool. You know, this is a choice. It's a choice he should regret. But if you don't make him regret it, he's not going to regret it. For instance, if white just jumps out, yeah. this reverts. And now black got his way on both sides. Right? We're not really happy about that. Right. We do something like this. White is split, right? He's going to have two things to keep track of. I mean, maybe he can do some stuff over here, but either way, he's going to have too many groups. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. the high approach. So white attaches. What was that? The high approach. The high I've approach. I've seen high approach. No, no, no. We're talking about right here. What does white do at this point? Threaten double Atari? Try to what? Threaten the double Atari. How? No. What, um, what do you mean? How? By turning, yeah. This? Yes. Black will fix the Atari. Yeah. 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 Black will fix his weakness. Maybe he'll fix his weakness here. Yeah. And if you high, I will cut you. But this is a good thing to keep in mind. Let's keep this in mind as a reference position. 
Because what white should do now is cut. I didn't hear a single person say cut. Well, I was wondering. Dan, Dan, you were asleep, is that it? No, I, no, I just. Oh, I, I didn't want to give it away. Well, you didn't want to give it away? That was I nice of you. I wanted to read it out. Okay, okay. So read it out. So what do we do? What do we do is white? If you're Japane right now, black is super happy to capture. And if we connect, we'll have this, we'll have a flaw in our shape. It's not really finished. So what do we do? I know you know it because you suggested it the first time. We were talking about it. Which is also called make the sacrifice, make the sacrifice bigger when you've got a firm upper limit on what you're going to sacrifice. Right, so we make the sacrifice bigger. It doesn't have that extra stone there. Right? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Make the well, sacrifice. I the Drew, that's what I want to know. Why didn't he cut? Yeah, Drew, why didn't you cut? Because you're an always wise guy. You always <laughs> cut, he's right. Uh, have you mellowed? Did you have a nice holiday season? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So, white extends. So, black now is kind of in a bind. He can't really do this. You have to do some reading when you figure this out because you know that, you know, you have to realize that you can do this and that black pretty much has to do this. So that means that white can hane here without trouble, right? Actually, white wants to first tari here. And then can play here, which is sente. Black will have to play here. Now where does white play? Get that one last fortune, get that one last fortune move, right? We're going to get that one last fortune move. Black's going to capture. And now white plays here. Right? Bravissimo. Bravissimo. Perfect. Right. We've gotten... How many people think that this is a better result for black? No hands. God, you guys are going to be one done. Like, how many, nobody thinks this is a good result for black? Even though he got his territory here and he got this extension here? It's okay, but it's not great. It's okay, but this is better for white, right? He's locked in. He's completely locked in. His territory is completely decided. But look, he can get this anytime he wants. <laughs> so why is it important to make this exchange? Right, so the hane can be yes. answered in sente. If we don't make that exchange, and these two stones are still on the board like this, when black comes back to do this, we can't really do this, right? There's a cut, it's not, it's not sente. Whereas previously, if this exchange has been made, when black plays here to take this stone, this is sente, so black has to capture, and white plays here. I really appreciate the difference in the timing there. How you're getting the full benefit of each of your stones. Got that? Who wants to see it again? One, two. Okay, good, cool, We're good. That is enough. In no way requires a majority. So um, just to go back to where we were here, if we just had done this now, right? We can see how if we do this, black can think about, I don't know, maybe a clamp or a cut, right? There's still, there's still a lot more problems. In the other way, white had a lot better thickness, right? All right, so. So, after attaching here, black honey, white place here, black can do this. Black can do this. Then what you want to do is you probably will do this. The idea would be that you can capture this, right? And then, if you protect it, you can bend. You maybe also don't have to do this immediately. You maybe want to bend, but you'll still have that here. There's still some questions. This is so tasty. Everybody hear the phrase, the million dollar bend? This is the million dollar bend. It's a million dollars. Million dollars. All right, so they extend, and this is the important time to cut. When they cut an Atari, you want to make the sacrifice bigger. Can we look at the variations happening in the corner there? So black goes out to the left. How do you... All right, let's say, let's say... Is, is Take a look at, at, at like this one, for instance. This, there's no, there's no cut here for black. He's, this is a ladder, right? That one's over. Um, I mean, like later. So after you've made the about cut, black and tower is up. Before so, this, even. Uh, where we're just at. Uh, what? So that? black pushes out, white cuts. What? Where pushes? Right here. Here. Yeah, there. White cuts. Yeah. Up. Black guitar is up. Yep. Extend. Yep. And black backs off on the left. Backs off on the left. Yeah. So if, we, if black tries to extend towards there and white tries to capture the corner, how does that play out? Is it 
there no way for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you read it? That's, I don't know, the Hane on the bottom side is going to be me up. Which Hane on the bottom side? Um, black. It's this? It's black, I really get that. And it just seems like there's going to get cut on there or something. <laughs> Black can almost live underneath without having to go black. Okay. Or without having to capture back. Do I need to do a lot here? I don't really need to do a lot because if this is floating, since this is high, this isn't really going to connect really well. And this is high also because, like, if you make it low, it's not as much of an attack on the two stones, right? Hmm. Anyway. No, we can't go into these variations. Okay. But you should be satisfied that they're not going to go well for black. Tell you what, you find a variation that goes well for black, and we can go into this variation. Okay? Okay. So, black on this side. I don't want to brush you off. I just, I got, like, five of these to go through. All right. I actually prepared a lesson. I will not be distracted. <laughs> oh, shoot. I left one out. What did I leave out? What do you know what I left out? The Atari. The Atari. This Atari. Right. Why do we do it first? If we do this first, this Atari gets answered here. And I don't get the last one. He's got this up here, right? I got this instead, but... Eh. Eh, this is this is the thickness was really nice because it made this a target, right? Okay, so what what should I do instead? Was before I hane here, play it right here, and hane, and now get in this last little tari, and what? This would be a bad idea, right? Why? I got too many cutting points, and I don't need to protect that stone, right? This stone is going to do its job right here as a sacrifice. Sure, black can do this, but I don't care because this stone's presence makes this go take. Good? Good. Okay, so this is my example of like using your sacrifice stones to their fullest, cutting, getting that tempo by making the sacrifice bigger, and making use of every possible forcing move that that gives you. All right? Questions? Sound good so far? Okay, next diagram. So it's going to take me a little while to set up. Talk amongst yourself. But the general idea is uh, of the next one is that if it's a good idea to get all these forcing moves, it's probably also a good idea to play the move that keeps them from getting a lot of forcing moves. Does that make sense? Cool. All right. Who recognizes this Joseki Nipper right? Yes. Yes, no, maybe? Yes, no, maybe? So it's the two space high. The two space so, high. Yeah. White plays yeah. this one, which is right. generally a really solid move. This is, if you have to remember something about this move, this is the really solid choice for white against the two space high pinching. Black plays a nice move. Slides in the corner. Black plays an extension. And the Joseki is kind of at ease. Um, so, question down here. What is Black's play? He has to deal with his cut. Presumably it went something like, you cut me, and I connect, and quite extent. But I don't honestly know, because this isn't a Joseki that I know. So what's the issue? Ideally, Black would like to be able to use his, to not have this turn into a big fat target, and to sort of have the initiative in any sort of fight. But what, what's at risk? What if he just Tanuki's here? Throw in and squeeze. And what happens to black? Very good. Very sad. You can say even more specifically than that. That it dies. Right. After, can we all read it? Good visualization, Brad? All done there? All right. So how do we prevent it? Let's do some, some mitigation exercises. Let's do the stupidest thing possible. Start there. Not stupidest. Um, least imagined. How about that? Let's just play the move that they would play. Why don't we like this move? So this is usually a good way to find a good move, to play the move that they would play. That's more with life and death, but sometimes also, you know. So, so they do this, and now we kind of need to do something here again. 
And then at this point, they're going to have the first step here, right? Not really going to be happy. So, what if we do something a little more imaginative? Well, white will push and push again. And then, let's see, maybe step out here. How about maybe just step out here? And black will want to do this because this is the important way to get this out. But, what happens next? White to play. Yes, way too early to slide inside. There is an immediate and direct threat that black needs to be concerned about. White can still play the squeeze. And then what? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I just get down the side. You can't actually catch No, it's like a minor line. Oh! He has a lot of options here. Right? At the very least, this group might even float, right? Do something like this. Squeeze that, maybe? Or maybe just this one? What? Does that long knight's move up ahead near the pushing point? You can Yep, you can aim at that. I mean, more immediately, what? Just do the simplest thing that can possibly work. Right? We, ugh, if it kills it, ugh, this is ugh. Like, we got double ugh. I will take this ugh over that ugh any really day. It's yours. Yeah. You can quote me on that if you can spell it. All right. So, so while this 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 push here is a nice idea, it leaves this nasty weakness behind. So the principle here is: if there's a, all of these liberty shortages, all of these pushes, what's the right shape point? Who has an idea? What? This one. No. Oh, well, but this is what we should look at, too. That's what yeah, I'm saying. That's yeah, this is what you're saying? Yeah, this is also not good. I say it's standing Also no good or good? This is not good. So you're going to do this. How's black going to play? Should probably take the initiative on the bottom side. This is sort of his point there. But now after this, this. Who sees this one? Who sees it now that it's here? <laughs> Who sees it here? Yeah? Do you see it here now? Because you do have an option. I mean, you could, you could have to do in this and this. You could not play this. You could move this over here, right? In which case, white still has... <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 I could do this. You kind of need another move, right? Yuck. Or I could just do this and get that first step here on this and then on the bottom side. Does that make sense? Okay, so, so who's got the right move? Nobody. You, that, I, you, he said that earlier, and I didn't know what it meant then either. You meant this. I might actually know what I know. <laughs> All right. Why is this better? Liberties. Liberties. Yes, and also. It's the when white goes out, now you're, you're farther ahead. When you just did this, you are a lot farther behind, right? This gets you farther ahead. White could do this, too. This is fine. But the idea is that you, like, by virtue of being farther ahead, like, I can't, oops, here, here. Like, why this is so much better than this is really hard to overstate. Right? So this, this, big difference, right? This is a lot better in terms of like connectedness. This one, oh, that's too far, has, you know, this problem, right? Not that white's going to do this to me, too, but it's a connection problem, right? These two stones can be disconnected a lot easier. Not saying that these two stones can't be disconnected, but they can be disconnected at higher cost to white. Make sense? Okay, so, and the reason this is interesting is because this is playing with that idea of preventing white from getting all of those forcing moves, right? So this is, if that idea of 
getting force and moves is such an important one, then the idea of not letting them get a lot of force and moves is equally important. Okay? Okay. Questions? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, I got one more. It's going to take a while for me to set up. Talk amongst yourself. All right. Okay, so here we are. It's a question. This is kind of the end of a Joseki. It's not one that I see an awful lot, but what the hell. Let's call it close enough to a Joseki. And it's kind of similar to the other shape that we looked at. The shape that we looked at both last problem and the one that we started this at. So Black has just played... <clears throat> just played tiddlywinks. <laughs> All right, Black has just played here. How does white deal with this cutting point? Dan Cooper. I would try 2-6. Two, 2-6. Six. Two, six. Wait, you want to make good moves. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, what. let's turn it around. Let's turn it around. Okay. Let's I mean, say... My, my first thought is 2-6. Let's say I do this. What does black do? Descend. Why? Because now I'm aiming at this. This is enormous. White can tanuki to take the big point over here, but this is really big, if not sente. Maybe white takes another huge point. I don't know. Tell me what the life and death is. Let's do some reading. We'll come back to it. Anyway, even if white takes this big point and I don't play this immediately, Alive. This is a problem, right? Maybe white will actually do this because it's descent. So how about if white does this? Black can descend. Black can descend. And this cutting point is still a problem, right? If black cuts here, he'll catch the stones. So white will have to do something. And black gets to be the first person to do whatever the hell he wants over here. It's not a board either. What's that? Tiger's mouth is white, 2-6. Tiger's mouth is white, 2-6, right. Okay, so now what does black do? I assume that's normal. Anyway, screensaver. moving on. That's right, screensaver. It might very well be. I don't know. All right. So, this is similar to that other one we talked about. It also is the proper move for white. This is white's correct move, right? Here. Here, and then we go off our merry way, right? Is it proper for is it proper for black to Atari instead of just descending? Since if you do that, you give white scenting, right? Yeah, yeah. If you Atari here and leave it you can take Sente to make the big move on the other side. Which I'm reaching for this corner rather than this corner. Why? I want to do my best to mitigate any of this defect. It's too slow to just protect this. Right? Is it also extending from thickness? It's also kind of extending from thickness. Um, I actually kind of like this one better because I would like to make them play closer to it. And now protecting this maybe makes sense. I, I, anyway, that's not part of the problem. If you guys can remember this part, and remember not to do something like this now and give white sente back, good work, okay? Sound good? Okay, so last problem. I'm gonna bring it all together. It's gonna take me a few seconds to set up. Talk amongst yourselves. And now we're gonna talk about a joseki. Specifically, this joseki. We saw one version where this happens. How about one where this happens? Right? What are some white options now? Double space extension. Double space extension or single space extension. Let's go with the double one. Seem reasonable so far? Who knows what happens next? Push and cut. Push and cut. Push and cut. Push and cut. Push. Drew, where were you with the push and cut, man? This new peaceful attitude? Is this a <laughs> new generation? Uh, All right, Black has some choices here, but let's say he goes with this one. 
And White has some choices here. Let's say they go with this one. This brings us to our question. Black to play. Dealing with the cutting stone. What do you think? I don't want to retire right now. We, well, let's say we do. Why not? We get Atari. You haven't actually fixed your defects. So if you fix a defect, you still have to kind of choose. They basically get the first move. This one, maybe? Yeah. First move against this. And this looks kind of rotten, right? OK, so we don't play Atari. What if we play Atari the other way? Is it any better? No, no, it really <laughs> glad, we all, glad we all agree on that one. I exchange here. I want to make this exchange first. It's kind of crucial. Black's not going to disagree with this exchange. This is, this is just going to be awful for Black. It hurts. Right? Not to mention there's still points here. OK, so we don't like either Atari. What if we just? What if we, well, what if we what? What if we star point, one point, one point, jump. Yeah. This one. The least behind is cut. Right, we can sacrifice it. Why can we sacrifice it? Tell me a good reason why. But tell me why we don't care. There's a better reason. Well, we're getting more is a great reason, and arguably the only reason that you need. But another one is that this, stu this group is already alive. Because this is a living, this is alive. You don't care that they're going to get more alive, right? If this group was in some way unsettled, its unsettledness is really important in the fight, right? But because it's settled, you don't give a shit if it gets more settled, right? Okay. How about the white clamps here? Yeah, we don't really care. Cat clamps. So the cutting stones are what's important, not the second line The cutting stones are what's important, not this one, because in particular, this shape is more solid. Okay. If it wasn't such a solid shape, that cutting stone might be important, and but might be worth enduring something like this. Right. right? Then, if you just do this directly, white's going to do this, and it's going to get either this one. In this case, white comes back to this, right? And incidentally, how many people thought this might be a good move to play? Because it looks a lot like the other shape. You can admit it, it's OK. You can say you're thinking about it. Because if, if you think this is an important stone, this is the right way to attach it, right? In this case, when white extends this way, you have the same issue, right? In the same issue, which is that white can play here and here, right? White won't. White doesn't throw in. White wants to leave this liberty on his outside stone, because this is usually the shape here, right? I don't know how folks have seen this. It may not capture these stones, but it is close enough. The idea with this one here is that if black pawns, right, you're not going to cut. You're going to do this instead. And now with black does this, you can block. Oh, oh. Anyway, black might not die, but you're going to be happy as white. Right. And if black protects that, so now what's maybe the right shape for black and white one? Why is this different than the other one like that? You don't have a follow up after the Atari. That's right. They don't have a follow up they did previously. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because this this one and this one are like me eye for white, right? Which is why this is not the right move to develop, right? So far, so good. White pushes the other way from the original cutting stone to you. This. White pushes the other way? Yes. This one? Yes. Is that an issue for black on the top? Oh, I see. That kind of looks right. I'm running out on the third one. Like that. Yeah, you're, you're okay doing this now. Okay. You're happier to make right. this exchange? 
What? Even though white gets to come back down to the center. Yeah, this is okay. Or this one? Yeah. This one you're going to just have to deal with it. Or black <laughs> Or black just giving up that whole side. Cut. Can black live here? Black is going to try and get out. White, for his case, doesn't want to reinforce the top because he has those options to get in there later. So something like this, this, this. Anyway, something like this, 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 here, here. This is normal, right? <laughs> this would be a normal continuation that you might expect. Normal, really? Well, it is me up here, so I, I, I mean, how normal could it really games be? Games like with that, with that Joseki, it's never, never happened. You always get to some exciting never things. Never One of these Josekis where it's only just like a jump, 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 and then we cut and we start fighting. They're great games to get out of the Joseki and into the more interesting part of the game pretty quick. So. <laughs> Go for it. So, congratulations. You guys got my putting it all together question, which was how to develop this cut. So, incidentally, what's another option for black here? It's my favorite move. On the start point? Yeah, why? Because it's Colock! I can't believe nobody wanted to say Colock. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is another choice that black can sometimes make. In this case, on this board, maybe it isn't the best. But anyway, thank you very much. So, as I had to say, uh, so who's got homework questions or we can play games? I have one. One non homework question. Okay, we'll do it. Alright, that's it. Hi. Also, Dan is going to...